Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Super Mario Maker 2. Today we are checking out the top 10 most popular levels in the game right now. But before we get started, I wanna let you know if you wanna send me your course, be sure to send it through the email on the screen right now. I also wanna let you guys know that I've received so many different course codes. I'll be checking out as many as I can, but I might take me a little bit to get to all of them, so please be patient. With that being said, let's get started with checking out the top 10 most popular levels in Super Mario Maker 2's Course World. So as you can see here, there's either Story Mode, Course World, or Course Bot. Now I actually don't know what Course Bot is. Let me see what this is, I'm a little curious. But Course World is where everybody can, ah yeah, these are my courses, that's what I remember now. And I can also download courses. You can save courses made by other makers to the download the courses section of your Course Bot and then play them anytime you like, even when you're not connected to the internet. Isn't that cool? I don't think we'll have to worry about that too much. But um, yeah, I'm more interested in doing Course World. We're just gonna be checking out some of the most popular levels that are available in Mario Maker 2 right now. Before playing Course World, let's pick a me and a name for your maker avatar. Your me, username, user ID, and country will be shown to other users. Okay, so it looks like I already have my me connected. Enter the maker name you want to use in Course World. Up, oh, yep, perfect, with zebra. Uh, that maker name is, no, somebody took it. Oh man, I didn't know that was a, like, there was only a one per user. Hopefully nobody's taken my name. Oh, you can't do space. Oh, this is like the maximum. Please? No! <laughs> All right, I'll have to figure something out. Okay, so I tried so many different combinations of things. I don't know why, but like I didn't know that there were specific usernames you could have for this. I thought it would just be tied to your Nintendo account or whatever, or your online account, just like every other online Nintendo game, or this would have been the first thing I was gonna do. So with that, <coughs> <coughs> So with that being said, my name, which we'll see in a moment, is Zebra Space ZG, but I'll share the codes and the videos and stuff, so you don't even need my username, I don't think. It's just, it's just weird. The ZG stands for Zebra Gamer, so it technically says Zebra Zebra Gamer, but I've tried so many different things, and it's just like, oh man, I just, I'm so bummed, because I swear that, like, it didn't say that anywhere, so I was like, I was just hoping that I could just start playing, but I don't know, it's weird. Welcome to Course World. Here you can play, like, and download courses created by other users. You can also see the accomplishments of other players, along with the courses they've played and liked. Information about your gameplay, such as course playthroughs, medals, and versus rating will be published both in the game and on the internet. To enter Course World, you must enable course downloading. Would you like to do that? Yeah, sure. Okay, so I agree. I read. I just read that really fast, totally. But yeah, we can also customize our little maker me. Uh, we can change the outfit and change the face and the name. So I can change the name. Okay, well hopefully one day somebody doesn't take Zebra Gamer so that I can take it back. I'm so sorry. I wish I could be Zebra Gamer right now. That's who I am. I don't know who took it. But maybe they, they held it for me. That'd be nice. I don't know, but it looks like there are different skins and stuff. One thing we could have like the Builder Hard Hat. Oh well, yeah, we have the uh, refreshing shirt. I like this one. I mean, that's a little too much yellow though. Maybe I'll keep with the red Nintendo shirt, but we'll get more stuff eventually, we'll be able to customize it. The denim jeans. <laughs> I don't have any zebra outfits, unfortunately. Oh, we can just do like a full Mario Maker outfit if we wanted to. I don't know if we want to do that though. I'll go back to this. Uh, but yeah, let's take a look at this. What is this, fidgety? Oh, it's like a little animation. Annoyed, buoyant, thrilled. Let's go, what's let's go? <laughs> I'm very angry. I like that one, I just like waving. But there's hyped. Oh man. <laughs> okay, we'll do the hello. That's great. All right, so we'll save all of that. We'll probably change this over time once I get like more stuff. But as you can see, there's a number of things to do in Course World. There's courses, leaderboards, network play, and endless challenge. What's ID? Uh, please, oh, this is where I can input the ID, that you, the levels that you guys will send me, awesome. And then I just, this is my maker profile, as you can see. Uh, not too much going on here. I haven't uploaded any courses, haven't liked any of them, haven't played any of them. That's what we're gonna be doing in today's episode. I will be having an episode going through the tutorial for making a level, because there's a whole tutorial in this one. So like, there's lots of stuff coming soon. But for right now, let's just go to the courses, and we're just going to do uh, the most popular courses in today's episode. Um, so it looks like we have Celestial S Sprint Speed Run. So are these like, well these are weekly. Is there any way I can see search? 
all-time ranking. Today is going to be an interesting day because, actually, yeah, it's Friday when I'm recording this. Let's see what the 10, at the least, let's check out the 10 most popular levels in Mario Maker 2 after a week of release. That's going to be my interest for today's episode. So, Celestial Sprint Speed Run. Um, it is June 29th, 2019. So, they uploaded this, like, on launch day. And it has 180,000 hearts, 500,000 players, speed run short and sweet. So let's go ahead and give it a try and see what ends up happening. And you can see the uh, course ID if you want to give it a try yourself. Never stop running, trust the fake traps, and most importantly, enjoy. So yeah, we'll try it out. When you play a course made by another player, the maker of the course may be notified every time you play the course. You can disable this notification in the settings. Interesting. See, I just wanted to give this a try. We'll just try different levels of course. What I know it's been like a slow opening figuring everything out, but that's fine, right? Let's just try this out. Whoa, okay, so we're supposed to run really fast and oh, I love this. This is the kind of level I wanted to make. Yeah, wait, oh, oh, ha, oh, oh, ha, ah, whoa. Okay, keep running, keep running, keep running. Ah, no, well, we're fine, we're fine. Oh man, that's so cool. That is so cool. Ah. I don't trust it, but we did it! Wait, time's up! Wait, what? I made it, though! Oh, man, that was close. That was super cool, though, for sure. So I just need to keep running immediately. Do not slow down whatsoever, or I am in big trouble. Man, that is so cool, though. I mean, you still have to like do things like time the jumps and everything. Whoa. Ah! There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, boop! And no! I didn't make it! I get the idea though, for sure. So I'm gonna try to just like, the problem before is that I wasn't running immediately because you know, Mario starts standing still. Okay, come on, come on. Oh boy. You got it, Mario. No, you don't. <laughs> Jumped a little too soon that time. Yikes. Okay, this is definitely tough just because of this, you know, very, very last second situation. Come on, Mario. We got it. Maybe. Let's see. Whoop. Yeah, no! <laughs> I can't do it! I reached the end there, though. I was on top of the flag. No, wait, I need to restart. So, like, if I don't move the absolute moment, it starts like that, I'm gonna be in big trouble, is the thing. Like, that's the hard thing. I think I let go of the run there for a moment, I don't know. Oh boy, come on, just keep going. Mario, you can do it. Oh, maybe I gotta go up there or something. Do you see those, like, a little thing? Like, a different way you could go, maybe? I don't think so, I think that was just sort of a trap. Oh, I did it, okay! That one snuck up on me a little bit. Jeez, and you can never see the time because, like, the white blocks are sort of blocking it. That was interesting for sure, course clear. I like it, that was a fun one, definitely challenging. I like how my time is the same exact time as the world record. I guess it's as fast as you could possibly do. I like it. So very cool. We are going to uh, move out of here. Yeah, that is the world record, that's interesting. So like, I guess the world record is whoever got that time first because you liked the course for the first time got the Goo Goo onesie. So I guess we're getting different cosmetics for trying some things, that's cool. Next up is Switch by Switch. I can't read it because it's in Japanese, but that's fine. This will be cool. So I can already see by the little like picture, it's supposed to look like a Nintendo Switch. I wonder what that means. Do I get to control that? Easy. Uh, so yeah, people can post like little things now, as you can see, little pictures. They could do that in the original, but it's just cool to see that on, uh, on Switch, be careful, I will try. There we go, I got rid of him. <laughs> so what exactly is going on? Oh, I see, so we're doing, ow, Switch related things, and maybe we'll eventually run into the Nintendo Switch, is that the idea? Can I put this on my head, here we go. Oh, am I supposed to, I think so. Throw that down that way. There's so many pictures in the way. Eventually, I might end up disabling these pictures. Ah, no! I, did, I don't know why I didn't think about that. <laughs> I might disable the pictures just because they do sort of get in the way of the gameplay. It makes it harder to see. I also can't control what people say. I mean, most people are just posting little pictures, so it looks like, I don't know. But some people can also post, um, like, actual text, as you can see. Why do I keep doing that? I'm such a dingus. Yeah, definitely activate that one. And then that one will fall on my head for a little bit of extra protection. 
And then we can throw that. Awesome. And then I just need to be careful with my jumps there. Oh, I see. Get up that way. So, so far, no, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. I jumped a little bit too much. Pretty simple stuff. Whoa, the thwomp did it. Oh, geez, that's cool. Not working by my own timer anymore. Wait, come on, thwomp. Oh, that's tough to time. There we go, though, we did it, we did it. Ah, oh, that's scary. Let's go down the pipe. And we get a checkpoint, that's good. Ah, <laughs> I, I just, it is definitely something that's hard to visualize at times. It's very weird. Um, oh, wait, I did it backwards. <laughs> Hold on. Whoopsies. Um, so we're, it's gonna start this way, so I need to be very careful. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it's so weird, but I really like it, it's fun. So before I do anything else, let me grab, oh, come on! That was a mean trick. Ah. Okay, really, just like a light jump. What's crazy is it feels like there's so many ways you could go here. And I guess it's mostly pretty simple. Like you see how this picture's in my way, I can't really see the course. So there has to be, like I wonder if there's even options right here. Oh yeah, display comments, no comments. Just because it does get a little bit crowded, for sure. There we go, we got the big coins. Boop, no! <laughs> That's not what I wanted! Oh man, I missed. Do I keep my coins? I don't, unfortunately. But, it's fine. Boop. I do like the little thing that shows you how many people died, like, in the area that you died. That makes me feel a little bit better most of the time. It's like, oh, I died, but like 30 other people died there too, so it's fine. Boop. There we go, I got it this time. And now I got the teeter-totter of doom. Whoop. There it is. And is, are we coming up on the end soon? I, I guess not. Oh, look at a fire flower. Oh man, oh this is cool. I like this idea a lot. This reminds me of like Mega Man. There's a lot of Mega Man games where there's like blocks that you know sort of disappear and show up. You sort of have to keep with the rhythm. <laughs> That's a little bit difficult. So this is a cool level. A lot of fun ideas so far for the most popular courses. Um, oh I see. Whoa, I can use these to beat a Bowser. Oh, that's so cool. Come on, give me more stuff. Ah, all right. Luckily, it's giving me more stuff as well. Hey, I need it. Come on. Oh, I need to time it well, too, because if I don't, they're just gonna get squished. There we go, we got him, cool. Okay, so let's go through this door, and where will it lead? Right here, okay, see you, Bowser. He's back, but he's gone. Bowser looks so much different here than he does in Mario World, it's weird. Uh, but hey, there we go, we got it, the second most popular uh, Mario Maker 2 level. That one was a bit more difficult in some ways, but also easier in others. Like, it didn't take as many tries as the first world did, the first level. I did not get the best timing, but that's fine, I definitely like that one. So let's go ahead and move to level number three. Okay, so the third most popular, also, you know what's weird? is that we never actually saw the little Nintendo Switch thing. I thought that was something we would see at some point or something, I guess not. <laughs> Anyways, um, the third most popular Mario Maker 2 level is a table tennis in Super Mario Maker 2 hard. So I guess this is really difficult. We'll try it out for ourselves and see for ourselves it is. Have fun with a table tennis mini game. This time, more hard. So I guess maybe there's an easier version somewhere, but we'll try this out and just sort of see for ourselves. Very cool that maybe there's like different creative ideas going through here. That, that just get popular, I like it. Okay, we're gonna go through the store. I did see like a flying spring. So what do I do? How do I play? I'm a little confused. So if I jump, it goes up. Whoa, oh I see. So it is sort of like, it's like, it's more like ping pong than I would, not ping pong, it's more like Pong, you know, like the arcade game, or I mean, it wasn't really an arcade game, but you know what I mean, the really old video game called Pong. I feel like it's more like that than it actually is tabletop tennis. Ow, Oh, I see. So if I miss too many times, the pow pocks go away and it hits me instead. Very interesting, like little mechanics to this one. So this is like a full on mini game. Whoop. Yeah, I got you. So if my goal is to hit him two more times. Oh no, oh no, oh that's a problem. Ah, oh, that's still a problem. I got one more chance. This definitely is tough. Ah. Yeah, look at that, okay. Come on, one more, one more. Ah. Okay. Ah. <laughs> there it is, did we win? 
Oh yeah, we did, look at this, we can go through the door. Awesome. Whoa, 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 I didn't press anything there. <laughs> I guess that was the idea. Where are we going? Who knows? Goodbye, no! Run, Mario, run! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I was scared. I don't want to do it over again. Man, what a roller coaster. Okay, that was a lot of fun. I love the idea. Just like different things that aren't just platforming levels is really cool. Number four is gonna be self-destruct activated. My most popular course in su from Super Mario Maker 1 remastered. Are you ready to blast off? All right, we'll try. We'll try to blast off. Is this, so this isn't, I'm always so worried I'm gonna run into those like don't move levels where you're not supposed to move, but they don't actually tell you not to move, so I'm thinking I'm playing a level, but no, you're just not supposed to play the level. Oh, so this is like, huh. It does feel like sort of like a Mario 64 level in a way. Like you're climbing the tower, that, that's a level in Mario 64. Whoa, okay, whoa. So I'm just supposed to run as fast as I can, sort of like the most popular level we played earlier. The number one. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Whoa, I love the use of the of the things. The, uh, oh gosh, let's get this. I, I'm running out of time though. I love the use of the claw. Come on, that's it. Very cool, I'm loving these levels so far. And we get a checkpoint and a fire flower. Watch it, no! <laughs> yeah, I can't jump there. I was gonna try to jump over the Monty Mills. I just need to f f throw fireballs at them. There we go, there we go, there we go. Uh, oh my gosh, run, run, no! I jumped a little too soon. Ah oh man, it's so intense. I wanna make a level like this, where it's just like a big chase. Like that's sort of the thing, I, I wanna, like I see all these fun levels and I wanna make something like that. But at the same time, I don't wanna just make that, oh no. Whoa, whoa, okay, very nice of you, but also not nice enough. <laughs> But like, I also want to do something that nobody else has done. I want to be original, but it's just, it's just tough to do that, I guess. Oh boy, oh, got it. But that's why I want to try out the level making tutorial that's in this game. It's like a full thing with uh, the pigeon. I'm really excited to check it out. Whoa, very good. Whoa, okay, I just barely made that jump. And here we go, here's the end. Oh my gosh, that was crazy close. There we go, the evil block of doom chasing us. Whoa, even now the castle's still falling apart. Course clear. Look at that. Okay, so definitely I like that one. The whole castle was self-destructing. And what do we got over this way? Spring has switched. I, I don't really know what it's about too much, but um, it has 100,000 hearts and 251,000 people played it. So yeah, we'll try it. We're about halfway done with the levels already. This has been a ton of fun. Man, there's some really cool ideas. This is why I wanted to wait a week before I jumped into these to give the community time to sort of choose what you know levels are really good and also for people to figure out the tools to actually play them. So switching things, as you can see, will give us different stuff. Oh, I love the look of this level. I just like classic Mario World. Hmm, okay. So I'm, no, oh, no, oh, be careful. Oh, you know what? I can do this. I didn't know if I needed those springs or not. Guess I don't, so I gotta be very careful here. What I could do is that. And I can just grab that, no problem. I'm gonna throw him away because I don't know if I need him. Whoop, whoa, okay. That got rid of that spiny, gotcha. And what's inside of here? We get another mushroom, I didn't quite need it, but good to know. Oh no! Oh no, my spring! I didn't mean to do that. Oh no, my spring's gone. Will it come back if I leave? Yeah, it will, okay, thank goodness. <laughs> I was worried. I don't quite need to get rid of these Koopas, but I just feel the need to. Whoa. Whoa, okay. Can I pick that up? Indeed I can. And then I could just put it back down. Yeah, and get up here. I don't know if I, I think I was supposed to do that some other way. Very interesting level, uses a lot of the springs, so I'm supposed to go in there, but what's up this way? Oh, there was a coin I could have gotten. Darn, oh well, that's fine. But yeah, like a lot of the switch blocks in these levels so far. I thought like that's like one of the most enjoyable features. Ah, whoa, okay, was that what I was supposed to do? I don't know. Okay, well, whatever, I'm gonna keep moving. Oh, I definitely need to be red. Ah, I knew that was gonna happen. Whoa, whoa, that's so cool. 
Go on up this way. Watch it. Oh boy, be careful. There we go, we're good. Are these little hearts? Oh, that's cute. I'm gonna pick up this Goomba just in case I need them. Actually, I accidentally threw them. Ah, oh, help me out, Mr. Goomba. Wait, was that what I was supposed to do? There we go. Whoa, that was cool. Definitely was supposed to use the Goomba. Oh, but he's gonna get back out. Yeah, so I don't like about the Goomba sometimes are risky. I mean, the Koopas do the same thing in this version. Oh, so this is like about timing. It makes me very nervous. Oh, and it gives me a new spring. Thank you very much. This level's long though. Like it just keeps going and going. Um, well that's weird. I'm just getting out of here. I don't trust that. That was that was really odd. Uh, and now we can just go down the spring. Not spring, what am I talking about? A slope. Whoa, we did it. Awesome, and I missed it. <laughs> oh well, that was a cool level for sure. Lots of weird things going on with the switch block, but that's what's fun about it, right? Lots of different like ideas. It's like a platter of different uh, switch capabilities. Uh, there we go, I like it. And we're gonna move on to the next level, level number six, right? Yep, it'll be Super Mario Sunshine Sandbird. Collect all red coins on the back of the legendary Sandbird. That is so cool. Okay, so this is actually a level from, or at least inspired by Super Mario Sunshine. There's a really tough level in that game where you're riding this bird made of sand, flying through the sky, he's really tough to stay on. We'll try it out here, this is so interesting. <laughs> GameCube. I definitely want to play Sunshine one day. Really tough to, because it's like not on any HD console and my entire uh, capture setup is all based on HD consoles, so I'd have to like get new equipment. But one day, for sure. Whoa, and the angry sun is here too. Is he gonna attack us? But yeah, we're on the bird right now. You can definitely tell it's sort of in the shape of a bird. It's interesting that they all stay together like this. Whoa, what do we got up there? Oh, I gotta get all the coins. If I don't, I'll probably be in big trouble. Yeah, I remember that being so difficult. I did not like this level. It was super duper tricky. There we go. Oh, big jump. I'm gonna stay up here. Okay, maybe that was a mistake. Oh gosh. No, I made it, I made it, look at me. Okay. Oh, we got another one coming up. What do I gotta do? First off, dodge the sun. Get under here, get the 30 coins, get this red coin. All right, we're at four out of five. I mean, I think in Mario Sunshine it was like seven, right? You had to get, what's down there? Oh, do I want to risk it? I don't know if I do, but I'm going to. Whoop, uh, ah, what's down here? Oh, phew, ah, no, Mr. Sun, why? Ah, that stinks. Oh man, I don't know where that last red coin is either. Maybe I should have played it a little bit more safe. Oh boy. What's in here? Huh, nothing. I guess it's maybe if you if this thing goes off without you for whatever reason. Okay, good to keep in mind. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and recomplete this and hopefully it turns out a little bit better this time. So I'm not gonna go down there right away. I wanna let this just keep moving. Or maybe I was supposed to, no, it's right here, okay. Ah, I see, so I could keep challenging the sun here if I go down this way maybe. Oh no, I'm gonna get squished, ah, watch out. Oh, that was scary. I didn't want to get squished by the block, but there's something down this way. I want to find out what it is. Hopefully not my doom. Wait, will this reset me back at the beginning? Oh no! Oh no, no, I'm gonna do it again! That's not what I wanted! Ah, no. Oh no! Why would you do that? Why would you? Oh man. Oh, I see now. Yeah, it brought us, like up there is the ending of the level. I get it. Oh, and look at this, I get a mushroom. I wonder if I could actually get back up there. I could, maybe not, okay. Oh, man. Oh, and there's a fire flower here too. Can I actually reach this though? There we go. Luckily now I'll be a little bit more set up to actually complete the level, that'll be good. Okay, I got to the end. For the third time, let's go through this door. What do we got going on? Eh, it's the end of the level. Very cool, I don't wanna fall though because I'll have to do the whole thing over. 
Man, that was crazy, but still really cool. I love Mario Sunshine, that was a fun course. I like that the Mario Sunshine music is in this. It really does, like the music really makes it so that you can try out bunches of stuff, um, bunches of ideas and stuff. All right, so moving over this way, we have a Super Mario 3D World themed level. It is 1-1 Homecoming Hills. A starting stage to give you a taste of what a game of what the game can offer. Huh. So I guess this is supposed to be like a bit of a taste tester for the 3D World theme. Or maybe he's making his own game. Apparently you can do that. Is that you can make, you know, like a whole, you know, row of levels that, you know, people can play. Apparently, I don't know if that's exactly true. That's what I've just heard though. Um, anyways. Yeah, this is sort of so far set up like uh Mario 1, the first Super Mario Bros.'s first level. Pretty cool. Maybe this sort of like a basic setup, I guess, to see everything 3D World is capable of. Oh, you know what, I should be able to climb up this and get the cat power up, cool. And then I use that, of course, to climb up the walls. Oh boy. There we go. Oh gosh, watch out for the turtle shell. What do we got up this way? Another mushroom, don't quite need it. So I could go through that pipe. Or I could not. <laughs> I was just trying to see if there's anything up there. Hmm, what's, whoa. Okay, I guess I'm getting fire flower now. Oh yeah, because it can do this. That's super cool. So, what is going on over this way? I can get rid of this dude. Not too much of a problem, there's plenty of coins to get too. This is a pretty simple level, but it does feel like, you know, like people who made the, the main levels, like Nintendo could have actually made this, you know? It's pretty, like a simple first level, just to learn a couple of things. Whoa, let's get that 30 coins. I like how people are using like the 10, 30, 50 big coins as like, you know, the equivalent of like a, um, a star medal or a star coin in the new Super Mario Bros. games. That's pretty cool to me. Especially seeing how I think in 3D World you had green stars. Oh no! That you could collect. Can I get any more of the cat bell? Not now, apparently. Oh, there's a one up. So could I go down this pipe? Yeah, I thought so. It looked like it. <clears throat> Ooh, got the little ant dudes. And a bunch more coins. Awesome stuff. Because I think there were three green stars you could collect, could, could, could collect in each level of 3D World. And I know 3D Land there were the star medals, and then in the new Super Mario Bros. games it's the star coins. I think that's how it goes, something like that. Whoa, we got the car! Yeah, let's drive this. This is only in the 3D world theme. Of course, we checked it out a bit in the story mode. Oh boy, bouncing, very good. Grabbing that. Oh, we're moving now. Turn it around. Excuse me, Mr. Goombas, I got places to be. Whoa, and that's the end of the level, not too bad. A pretty by the books one, but if you wanted to sort of get like a quick glimpse on everything, or at least most things that are in the basic 3D world theme, that's probably a good level to check out. And there we go, we got it done. I like it, it was pretty good. I wanna get out of here and check out what might be available. We still got three more levels to check out. Level eight, Sun Touch Sanctuary from the classic Super Mario Bros. Touch the sun and let the sky fall. Very poetic. I don't know what's going on here, but we'll try it out. It looks like some kind of like tomb in the desert or something like that. A pyramid maybe, I don't really know, but uh, we'll find out. Wow, this is cool already. I love this theme for Mario Bros. Like, was this in the original? I, I don't I honestly don't remember. I, I don't think so. Okay, so I can hit you. Well, you get me a couple of extra coins. That's always cool to see. And I need that mushroom. Ah, oh, we're fine, we're fine. Trying to dodge these plants wherever I can. Oh, this one's so cool. Come on, let's get up here. Do we have any other? Yep, we got a shell right over this way. And that should really do the thing for me, right? Or not. <laughs> Whoops, okay. Uh, what's, what will this have? Another mushroom, don't quite need it, but I'll take it. It's weird that there's all these switch blocks, but no switch. What's that about? Oh, can this hit it? Yes, it can, ow, no, darn. Oh, uh, what, what's over this way? Okay, maybe I shouldn't have done that? We do get a checkpoint but I'm a little concerned. Maybe I missed something? Maybe there's like a secret up this way? Ah, I don't like it. No, 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 no. Oh, I missed it this time though. I could try again. Yeah, there's another pipe up there. I got the checkpoint, so I wouldn't really be missing out on too much if I do. Hmm, 
Come back here, come back here. No, I was trying to jump on him, darn. That's a really weird angle. I'll try one more time. If not, I'm gonna move forward. Not gonna worry about it too much. Very cool level so far. It really does feel like... Ah, oh, lots of thought went into this. I'm not doing so well though. I'll try one more time. If it doesn't work out, I'm just gonna, gonna go because I just don't wanna deal with that. So you're gonna turn around. I'm gonna land on you, I'm gonna kick you. Come on, please. Yes, we got it. So what is up here? First off, we have a pipe. Look that there was even more. Yeah, where is, okay, this is the switch then. And then could we, oh, come on. I barely had enough time there. <laughs> Let me try that again, but then I can't leave. There's a lot of weird things going on with the switches around here. Come on, I gotta be quick, gotta be quick. Ooh, the plant's in the way, everything is in the way. Oh, I got it, huh, not really. Okay, whatever. <laughs> that's such a hassle, I can't do it. I could though, I, I that's another thing. I wanna try it because I know I can do it. I haven't seen any levels with the specific conditions yet though. You know, like, oh, complete this level with, by, you know, defeating Bowser or by getting a certain amount of coins. I, I'm excited to see levels like that pop up soon. Anyways, we got that. We can't leave this area without unactivating it. So that really didn't do too much for me. Because I still don't know how to get up here. All right, well, that was fun while it lasted. I guess I'm going back this way. <laughs> Sorry, let's keep going. I love the, the desert dunes in the background and stuff like that. Definitely need this mushroom. I really don't need these guys. Like, I don't know what I could really use them for. I could get that for sure. Now I need to find a way to hit it again. Oh, I could just get this one. Ah, that makes sense. Oh boy, no, 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 whoa, whoa, don't fall, don't get squished. None of that, please. Hmm, yeah, we can get up this way, for sure. Wait a minute, what? Huh, oh, oh no, oh no, I'm in trouble. Whoop. Okay, we're fine. That was scary. <laughs> that guy's gonna go off and do something. Don't know if I care too much, I just wanna survive. No, oh gosh. Okay, there's a checkpoint coming up though. I'm gonna be saved, hopefully, if not another one of those big guys jumps on me again. There we go. What do I get? I get a, another mushroom. Okay, so I should be able to hop on you. Oh boy. Ah, uh, I don't like that. <laughs> That's tough timing. Oh, we got it. Not bad, not bad. Oh, but we're still not done. I wonder if we have to like re-traverse the entire thing now, but with the, the blocks activated. Maybe not. Uh, whoa, big mushroom Mario. Cool, I love this. Come on, there it is. Watch out for us. Yeah, what am I doing with this now? I mean, I could go th through again. I don't think that's gonna do much for me. I mean, maybe it will. No, that just hurt us. Okay, never mind. Weird. But now I'm in trouble because I don't have Big Mushroom Mario anymore. Was I supposed to do something with that that I didn't do and that I will now regret forever? Maybe, because I was just supposed to go down, okay. I was just being silly. So I would have brought that down. Oh no, it's weird that it doesn't give you a second chance with it then. I guess I'll just have to die and try again. Weird. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. It was sort of my fault. Oh, but I gotta go all the way back up now. Okay, let's try this again. Ready? There we go. Oh, we're falling. That's pretty cool, I like it. Okay, yeah, you're out of here. Thank you very much. Okay, awesome. So what's down this way? It's a bit of a mystery. Actually, no, this is everything we traveled before. Oh, this is super gratifying now, or satisfying. Um, is this like, you know, this is a, the thing we were struggling to get up this whole time, but now we get to storm through it, no problem. That's really cool, what a great idea. I see why this is a highly rated course now, for sure. And no, are you okay? That wasn't cool. Oh well. Awesome stuff, as you can see, we get another level done. That was the eighth level, I think? Eighth most popular right now. Very cool, I like it. And we are good to move forward. See what else is going on around here. 
Um, yeah, we got level number nine, which is going to be 20 second switch block blast. Uh, hit the on and off switches to kill enemies and make paths and to speed to the end. All right, let's give it a try. Over 200,000 people played this one. Only have 20 seconds. We'll try it out. A lot. These kind of levels seem to be pretty popular so far. We run through really quickly with all the switches, which I can definitely understand why I wanted to make a level like this, but definitely I'm a bit more deterred now because it seems like there's so many people who have. Ah, oh, didn't time that quite right. That's a shame. But we'll just keep trying, seeing what else we can get done. Oh, there we go. Not bad, if this is a jump we messed up on before, I wanna mess up on it again. I need to like wait till the very end. I felt like following the coins there sort of misled me. Let's just try it again, got it. I love the idea though, it gets a really fun level type. There we go. But then I messed up the next one. <laughs> really, really tight jumps. You only have literally one block to make it happen. The, small unit, the smallest unit of measurement in the Mario universe, one block. Whoop. Ah, oh, man, that is so tough to do. Whoa, I made it. Okay, cool. Ah, watch it, Mr. Thwomps. Oh, no. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Oh, okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. No, I missed it. Darn. I was about to run out of time, too. I think I messed up the conveyor belt thing. I don't know if I was supposed to jump. I'll just try again. Oh, come on. Got it. Yeah. Ah, oh, every time of that one. Okay, yep, I'm not supposed to jump, I don't think. Come on, that's it. And we did it with zero seconds on the clock. How cool is that? That was scary for sure. But hey, we got it done. And course is clear. So that one was definitely, I'm gonna like that one. And we are going to move to, uh, the final level today's episode, I think. The 10th most popular level in Super Mario Maker 2 right now. It is Remote Control Master. Difficulty two out of five stars. I can't read the rest of it. I'm guessing it's gonna be more like Switch stuff where we hit the switches and stuff happens. So I think it be, could be a pretty fun idea. So we'll give it a shot, see what it's all about. Of course, it's in the Mario World theme. So, oh, I see. Some kind of puzzles going on here. So I guess what I gotta do. Oh, didn't quite time that right. Let's get another one out here. I think I'm supposed to get him on top of the music block. That's it. There it is. So I can go through this door now. I like this one so far. Okay, so what's going on with this one? I hit that, it'll change the color. Oh man. Whoa, I see. That's actually a really cool idea. And I gotta do this quickly or the bob -omb will explode. Okay, um, I'm gonna wait for the next one. I'm gonna ignore that guy. Ah, a bit too soon. No, wait, oh, come on. It is definitely tough to time that, that, that part at the very end because he sort of gets off of it, but then he sort of falls back on it somehow. Like, that's weird. Oh no. That's it. Okay, just barely timed that. This is fun though, because a lot of them you're moving and while you're moving, you're supposed to hit the blocks. Oh, I see. So this one, we're supposed to activate the glacier. Or the slag tight. Yeah, that's what it's called, slag tight. I didn't even know I was under it. <laughs> I mean, I guess you can try this enough until you just eventually get it. Come on, there it is. No, come on, Fuzzy Beetle. What are you doing? There we go. That was a weird one for sure. What's going on this way? Whoa. Um. Okay. What did this? Do what? What did these doors lead to? It leads here. Am I supposed to get rid of the Goomba? Is that the idea? I think it is. Destroy the Goomba at all costs. I messed up. Okay, let's try again. Now, come on, squish that Goomba. Oh, come on. I'm gonna wait for him to come over this way. And now. Oh, uh, yeah, we got him, that's it. 
Very cool idea with that one. I didn't know enemies could drop keys in that way. I'm learning a lot about different level setups too, which is cool. Oh, I see. I'm supposed to make this thwomp mad, and then before he gets back up, oh, that's tough. Oh, I thought I pressed jump there. Okay, it still worked, it still worked. I'm out of here, pressing that, or not pressing that, getting that, the flag. And what's going on? Oh, I see, this one's just a matter of timing. Yeah, first try, look at me. And then with that, I can get across to here without dying, because I would have died either way. That's why he gave me the flag, interesting. Whoa, whoa, that was quick. I gotta do that again. Ah, I messed it up. Oh, um, I see. That's tough. Yeah, there it is. I wonder if I could have just spun jump on top of it. <laughs> I don't know if it would be possible or not, but I feel like you could maybe cheat that one. Okay, this is interesting. So I'm supposed to, oh, I see. And then we're supposed to run over here to make him drop it? Oh, almost. We almost got on the first try, that would've been cool. Okay, thwomp, launch him. Nah, it didn't quite work that time. So I gotta make him drop it like that. And I actually have to time it correctly. I don't know how I got so lucky the first time. Ah. Oh. Wait, no, I got it. <laughs> I don't know why I thought I wasn't going to. That's why you shouldn't give up so soon. You might make silly mistakes like I do. No, wait. <laughs> oh man, I still make silly mistakes, but. That was way too soon. Now. No! Ooh, that's a tough situation, this one is. Come on, come on. Ooh, just barely. So you go ahead and torch him up, then fall down here as soon as you can. And that's it! Okay, we figured it out. Whoa, what's going on with this one? Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, and, ah, yeah. Wait, what? How do you do this? Oh, I see. Hup! Yeah, we did it! <laughs> oh my gosh, that was scary. Yay, we did it, we get a one up for it, and we get ourselves, I guess I could've maybe gone up the pipe and maybe gotten like more. Ah, oh, there you go, it was probably more. Anyways, that was still a lot of fun. That Those were 10 really exciting levels. And yeah, it took us almost an hour to get through them all. Wow, that guy had a really good time too. Less than a minute. Okay, so with that being done, there are the 10 most popular levels in Mario Maker 2. Let me know your thoughts on each one of them. And yeah, if you've been making courses, like I said at the beginning of today's episode, be sure to send them to me. Rewatch the beginning of today's episode if you have to, if you wanna see, um, if, you know, how you can send them to me, because that's definitely the most important part. But yeah, we'll be playing more levels in Core Spot, we'll be playing more of the story mode, and we'll be doing Endless Challenge, and making our own levels, and checking up your levels. So much more coming up in the upcoming episodes, so stay tuned for them. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Super Mario Maker 2. If you watched this point of video, make sure you comment Zebra Course. So now you've watched at the end of the you are a Zebra Task viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. By the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.